What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. The old bandits back again with another video. Man, I tell y'all what, the rain has been killing me the last two or three weeks. It's a system that rolls in every Friday and Saturday. Been messing up my charter trips, been having to do a little rescheduling. Finally getting a little break in the weather. So I'm finally getting the opportunity to go out and target some flounder tomorrow, rigging up some rigs. I wanted to share with y'all a main line to leader line knot, a braid to fluorocarbon knot that I've been using for the last two or three months and absolutely love it. It is easy, easy to tie, super simple and very, very strong. I haven't had it fail me yet. Uh, it's something I just came up with honestly out of laziness when i was sheep's head fishing around structure and kept getting my fluorocarbon broke off uh something i just came up with real quick just to see if it works and it's been working flawlessly super quick super easy you can tie this knot in like literally like five seconds let me share it with y'all if this video was helpful smash that like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already enough talking let's get in here tie this knot all right, for my standard flounder fishing rig setup, I use a uh, Seaguar 20 pound, 100% pure fluorocarbon leader. I pull me out about six foot of it. I always have the leader to my right, my main line, my braid to my left, same as you would do a double uni knot, you overlap those lines like so, just like that. And start out with your big loop. Just like that. You got your loop. And all we do is we go around with both lines four times. That's it. Here we go. One. two, three, and four. That's it. Wet it, pull it down snug, and that's it. I am, I am pulling, I am pulling on that. You won't break it. It's super fast, super easy, super quick. It's a small diameter knot clip off your tag ends real short and that's all there is to it guys super simple super easy knot super strong haven't had it fail me yet wanted to share that with y'all and i'll go ahead and show y'all how i tie my jig head on as well i always tie a loop knot I get in here and make, make my loop like so. Feed the line through the eye. And this is where a lot of people mess up. However that line exited that knot is how you want to go back in. Same way. And slide, you don't want a huge loop, right? So you want to slide that knot right down close to the eye as you can of that jig head go around four times one two three four and go back through the same way again just like that wet your knot down pull it tight That way you've got a small loop. You don't have a big loop that that hook can come around and get hung up on. And you've got that tag in exiting in line with the direction you're pulling. If you run that through that knot a different direction, it might be sticking out forward or some other direction. And you don't want that. So we go in here. Clip our tag in off, and we are ready to catch some flounder. 
I have always tied a double uni knot for years and years and years and it is a good strong knot don't have any issues with it but it does take a little practice to get used to tying it and it takes a little time to learn how to tie that knot this knot I don't know what y'all want to call it the bandit five second knot I don't know but it's very very quick very simple and very dependable I haven't I didn't want to say anything about it I've been using it for three months zero failures great knot very quick very fast very easy I see a lot of people that'll that'll put swivels in line because they they don't take the time to practice tying a braid to fluorocarbon knot that one right there is easy y'all all right, gonna go out tomorrow and target some flounder with this rig. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. See if we can get on some flatties. Thank y'all. See y'all on the next one.